everyone. Welcome back to the first day of 2022. Um, there's so much great energy in the air and I know I've been away for quite some time. Um, life happens, man. A special shout out to Anthony who says he checks weekly to see if I upload a video. Uh, that kind of made my day. Uh, if you noticed, I am in a different setup today. I am currently minding the wares of Crystal Intuition Arizona. Everything you see in the background, in the foreground, excepting this, um, is currently part of their stock, including the bracelets I am wearing. They have kindly let me use their filming setup back room uh, because they have a sweet light and I am not at home right now. So uh, if you're interested in anything that you happen to catch a glimpse of in this video, I will put the link down in the comments. Check them out. She's got great sales sometimes. There's Facebook Live auctions, uh, really quality stuff. I absolutely trust her and she is a personal friend of mine. So with that being said, what do we have to look forward to? What do we need to know for the upcoming year 2022? I have three groups in front of you, the Sodalite Skull, the Iron Pyrite Chunk, and the Rose Quartz Freeform. Um, again, all of these are available on Crystal Intuition's website, and if anybody wants to buy me this, I think it's $120. For legal reasons, that is a joke. Uh, but it's beautiful, like, so go ahead and look at the groups, pick which one calls to you, and then the timestamps will be in the comments. I'll see you in a bit. Bye. All right, group one, welcome to your reading. So to start out, we have the Queen of Swords followed by the Four of Swords and the Ten of Cups. If you noticed when I drew these, I didn't put them in an order in which I drew, I put them in the order for which I felt called to place them. So you're starting out 2022 fucking a boss bitch. Um, uh, intellect, top of your game, um, not militant, but ready to defend yourself uh, and to defend others. Uh, a strong person, very strong person. However, I feel in the middle of the year with the Four of Swords energy, you're gonna need to take a rest because you cannot sustain this emotional and mental energy, and it's more mental energy. Um, you cannot sustain that constantly, nonstop. So towards the middle of the year, maybe end of spring, beginning of autumn, um, you're going to need to slow down and take a rest, maybe sooner, maybe later. Um, but uh, with that rest, that bodes well for the future, the Ten of Cups. So now you have this emotional fulfillment that's coming in your relationship. And the majority of you are going to be single for now, um, or you haven't met that person yet because you're so focused on other things. Let's see what else we got. Oh, we got two. Uh, the Hierophant and the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, so you're focused on work a lot. Are you focused on providing that financial stability and that earthly stability and that home stability? Um, which is definitely a, a worthy goal and absolutely important to you. Um, but with the Hierophant, you need to find balance and you need to slow down the physical pursuits and maybe pursue more intellectual ones. Read for the sake of reading if you can, not because you have to further your career. Um, paint for the sake of painting, not because you have uh, requirements or school assignments to do. Um, so definitely slow down, meditate, take that quiet rest time for yourself. So when love is right, oh shit, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> because there could be a tower moment 
um, to prepare you for. So, oh, the tower. Fuck, man. I am so sorry. In all seriousness, no, though, uh, and I say this a lot, and I probably said it in another reading. Um, I don't feel that this is imminent. I feel this is what could happen should you not rest and take that quiet time to yourself. There are changes that have to be made, and we get signs frequently that those changes need to be made. We can either A, ignore them, or B, face them head on. A lot of times when changes need to be made and we don't make them, the universe will do that for us and it will not be as gentle or as loving as it could have been had we made that decision. In this case, you need to rest. You need to take time for yourself. You need to focus on finding that balance in your life between work and home, social life and coworkers, um, Otherwise, it's going to be made for you, and it could be in the loss of a job. It could be in the loss of um, or a change in living arrangements that will force you to step back and rest. It could be in the form of an illness. I know we're still in heading into year three of a worldwide panini, so uh, keep that in mind. Let's can clarify the tower. The queen of wands. Uh, you've got some major, just amazing energy, um, strong-willed. Wands is also creativity and knowledge. So I feel this definitely um, tells that you have to access that more creative part of yourself um, and le to rest the logical part of yourself. You cannot be focused so much on analytics and data and financial reports or whatever it is that you do in your job. You need to focus more on the creative arts. You need to rest your brain and rest your body uh, so that when um, the end of the year comes, you have this 10 of cups ultimate wish fulfillment um, this this happiness this balance because right now you're kind of feel like you're fighting alone in all of these uh cards the person is alone except for the last one so you have to oh, let's see this one king of wands yep your counterpart is waiting and he's looking at all this and he's he's and I say he, but it could be um, a masculine type energy. It could be a softer energy. Um, but it's the counterpart to the Queen of Wands. So this person is waiting and looking, and I think they're on the fringes of your life. Um, you may be aware, you may not. I don't think you are because you're not looking in their direction, except for the tower. I think if this tower moment comes... Um, and you accept it, you're going to be looking to where you're going to land and he's going to be looking there ready to step in and give you a hand up. And so you have this definite 10 of cups um, compatibility energy, like the emotional, I love that there's a bee there. Oh, there's two, distraction. Oh my God, there's more. Um, this companionship, this quiet happiness, this, uh, the home is, is strong, it's stable, it's clean, all your hard work paid off, but you're going to need that rest um, to get there. And if you know that you have to make decisions, this is the year to make them. No inhibitions, no holds barred, no holding back, because um, when you do that, you procrastinate and it puts off the, the chain of events and that's going to end up the tower moment happening on its own and it's not going to be a walk in the park. I'm going to pull some Moonology Oracle cards. Oh, shit. Have faith in your dreams. Take time to breathe out. Your commitment is being tested and you are good enough. Have faith in your dreams. Have faith. Things are going to work out. You don't have to go balls to the walls completely 100% of the time. In fact, that's a guaranteed way to self-sabotage yourself. Take time to breathe out. Again, rest. Rest at some point this year. Take a vacation. Don't answer your phone. Don't check your email. Why do I feel that this is calling me out? Okay, then. Um, 
take that rest, take that step back, take that time for you, read for the sake of reading, um, take a stupid class that brings you joy about English, English literature and country houses, or a soaring course. Whatever it is that gets you out of your head and gets you out of your regular professional work sphere, do it. Your commitment is being tested, and I don't think that it is being tested in regards to your commitment to doing your job. I think your commitment to your personal growth um, is what's being tested. Uh, it could involve shadow work. Um, it could involve deep psychological analysts, uh, analysis that you are undergoing with a professional. I mean, there is work that has to be done for you. Otherwise, the tower moment wouldn't have shown up. Um, there is work that you need to do in order to evolve past it, but you have to accept that um, and you have to take that step forward. You have to commit to that course of action so you can move forward. And there may be, with the you are good enough, the majority of you may be having doubts about, are you working hard enough? Are you successful enough? Do you have the financial stability? Do you have everything that you need? Could it be better? Um, you are enough, plain and simple, full stop. No, there, nothing else to say. You are enough, okay? Let, uh, what do I wanna do? What do I want to do? I have um, some energy oracle cards. Let's pull a couple of those. They're right here. I do apologize. I'm a little rusty. All right. So we've got a woman, woman holding her heart, an angel of balance. Um, so you are holding on tight to your emotional vulnerabilities. Um, that doesn't mean that you, at some point, will not be comfortable giving it away, but right now you're holding on tight. And I feel the tower moment definitely has to do with a lot of issues that you're coming to terms with and that you're facing and the angel of balance. Um, so again, this just reiterates that you need to find that balance between your work life and your emotional, personal life and your relationship life. Um, let's do one more. We're gonna do top deck energy, Archangel Michael. So he is a battle um, hardened warrior, the defeated, I'm I'm really not up to my Catholicism, Christianity. I apologize, didn't he? Like, isn't there a statue of him slaying the devil? Either way, um, it's a battle. It's an emotional battle and it's a mental battle um, that you're facing, and you and you're fighting yourself. Um, it's it's fighting past learned behaviors. It's fighting past. Um, issues that you've had maybe with parental figures or with previous relationships. Um, and it's coming to terms with how those affected you, how those changed you, how those made you better, how those held you back. Um, and realizing that you are enough um, and that you have what you need to succeed. Um, and again, towards the end of the year, your king of wands is waiting. He is observing and watching and ready to step in and he's got that torch lit for you and he's looking towards you and again you're still holding on to your heart you're not looking towards him and eventually you will you will have that ultimate fulfillment with the ten of cups they're facing each other everything i mean literal rainbows um so that's what you have to look forward to for 2022 don't be scared of the tower moment okay don't be scared. Embrace it. Uh, no matter how fearful it may make you, embrace it. And you'll know the signs. And usually when you have to make a change and you're trying to go down a certain path, there's going to be roadblock after roadblock after roadblock. Um, you're going to make a step forward. Something's going to stop. You're going to have to step back. That's usually your sign telling you you're not on the right path. When things are meant to be, it's going to flow forward and it almost will seem as if the road is opening up before you. So group one, that was your very abbreviated reading, but I feel really good about it. Um, take time for yourself this year. Rest, go on vacation, do something not focused on work. All right. If this reading resonated, please let me know in the comments. Um, feedback fuels me. I mean, not if it's like mean, like if it's mean, fuck off. But if, 
If you don't like it, just hit the thumbs down and go, man. If not, let me know. If you would like to see more of this stuff, if you have any questions, if you are interested in in-depth readings, um, let me know and maybe I can set something up. But right now, it's just for funsies. Well, welcome to 2022, guys. It's going to be a hell of a ride. I'll see you later. Bye. All right, group two, if you chose group two, you chose the Iron Pyrite Chunk. Welcome to your reading. If you noticed, I did not place the cards in the order which they were pulled. I placed them in the order in which I felt called to. So the first card that we have is the Fool, followed by the Moon, followed by the King of Pentacles. So you're starting this year. Um, <laughs> It's almost a, a lot of you. It's almost a literal fresh start. You're starting a new job. You're starting a new career. You're in a new state. You're in a new home. Um, you're on a new path that um, that you weren't either anticipating or anticipating to happen so soon. So it's a new journey and you're kind of like, what the fuck am I going to do? I feel stupid. Like you feel off balance, but you really are. You're hanging in there. Um, you're on your way, the start of a new journey, and the opportunities are endless and in the palm of your hands. Um, the moon tells me that um, there are going to be phases that you're going to go through. And um, I'm hearing like first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter, because, um, you know, the moon's all about phases um, and you're looking up. And so it's it's what you're planning and what you want and I feel it's definitely geared towards home which the king of pentacles pentacles um earthly stability the financial stuff home health finances um wealth all that fun stuff that's with the king so there are certain phases I feel as if you plotted them out so you are anticipating almost like a five-year plan so you guys have a five-year plan it's a little askew right now um, but it's in progress and for some of you you were anticipating this and everything's working out as you want it's still you feel like you're juggling a whole bunch of stuff um, the king of pentacles so towards the end of the year um, all of your planning and all of that growth and evolution is going to transfer into the King of Pentacles. You're going to be comfortable. You're going to have that stability that you crave. Um, the Knight of Wands. You're, but it's steady progress. You're not rushing into anything. And I feel this is less romance, more personal life, career in general. So you're not rushing into anything. Um, you've got a plan, you're sticking with it, uh, and you're confident in your ability to succeed. Um, six of pentacles, a lot of hard work. Um, and with the people reaching out, there's going to be people that want something from you, whether it's your time, whether it's your energy, whether it's your body, and you give what you want to give and you hold back what you don't and you're really happy with that you're confident in yourself you're confident in your um how you view yourself emotionally and you're confident in your your sexuality although those are not so much in the forefront you're mostly confident in your ability to get shit done um and i feel that, that there's sort of like a right god i feel like david Tennant energy here um, that just reminds me of David Tennant and I don't know why and I don't that will that will strike a chord with a, a few of you with that David Tennant like sexy snake good omens energy um, but you're confident and you have what you need and you're working towards your goals 
Mm, let's do this one. Knight of Swords, ready to do battle, to protect what's yours, to fight for what's yours. But again, you're not rushing in. Um, <laughs> and it's almost like you, you're you battling, your the, your biggest opponent is yourself. Um, you f feel as if you second guess. You second guess yourself. Am I really making the right decision? And I want to say, yeah. You are, because you're the star, babe. Like, you've got this uh, emotional maturity and this emotional balance that actually helps propel um, the motivational, logical side of you. Um, and so you're working towards that. You're working towards your goal. Again, you've got your hands full, but you're getting shit done. You're maintaining that balance, that emotional growth, that logical forward or momentum. Um, but it's all very planned like it's not the water is smooth it's not rocky it's not overwhelming it doesn't feel oppressive or drowning you are in control of this shit and you are using your brain um to propel you to the highest heights um let's do some moonology oracle cards Work through your fears. So with the fool, there's some insecurity and it may be less fear, but mostly insecurity, definitely imposter syndrome. Um, can you really get this done? You're getting it done. Um, you're in the process you're getting it done, but you have to listen to your inner voice, work through your fears, uh, meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. Um, new opportunities. So again, there's that koi fish balance, the yin, the yang, meditate and contemplate. Um, plan, but also focus on your inner growth, your spiritual growth, uh, if that is something that appeals to you, absolutely. And a fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. Uh, fiery climax. Uh, I think there's going to be, I, I hear explosive. There's going to be an explosive event at the end of the year, like fireworks going off. Like it is a celebration that I'm seeing. Um, I'm seeing almost like it's New Year's Eve all over again for 2023. Everything that you've been working for is going to culminate over the course of this year, and it's going to be um, everything that you want it to be because you're doing the work, you're doing what needs to be done, you're working hard, you're taking care of business, um, and you're methodical, and you're logical, and you're analytical, but you've also got that emotional balance as well. Um, so absolutely a fiery climax approaches. I, I'm, I also feel like this could be um, not just a really good orgasm. It's, I mean, if you want it, you can have it because you can go out anytime. I don't think you're tied down to any one person, um, whether it's you're polyamorous or you're just uh, in control of your own sexual and emotional needs. Um, if you wanted just sex, you could go out and have just sex. But this is more of a life like change, like how you're coming into 2022 with this new start, fresh journeying, full energy um, that is going to coalesce into an even bigger climax for 2023. Like you're doing the work all through the year um, and you're going to level up. Um, what do we've got? Do we have we have the moon, too? So we have the moon. So it's all phases. So you're starting a phase that will last about a year. You're going to have a climax where you're going to then level up and evolve at the end of this year, beginning of 2023. So whatever steps you're taking now to accomplish your ultimate end goals that will like leapfrog you into 2023 with this amazing fireball burst of energy, um, but you have to meditate and contemplate so you can control it. So it's 
it's a controlled burst and it's not just flinging you head unknown into a potentially new opportunity. So you've got an amazing, <laughs> an amazing path, um, an amazing skill. Uh, and it's a really good reading. I want to do a couple of the energy oracle cards as well. Let's just see what we've got. What else does group two need to know for the upcoming year? Door to spirit. Archangel Shamuel. So I don't know a lot about Archangel Shamuel. I am going to consult my book. Uh, so 37, Archangel Shamuel. Emotions of desire, life force energy. The powerful Archangel Shamuel is holding a beautiful sphere of golden light at the solar plexus, which is the location of your third chakra and the center of your life force energy. The issues here revolve around emotions of desire and your personal energy. When the card appears upright, it indicates that an increased enthusiasm is present or soon to be on its way. Door to spirit. Um, I feel as if excuse me just dropped a book this is uh opening a door to allow this excitement to come in um m i feel motivation uh and a release of, of 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 emotions that are coalescing in your in that area i think that's what is that the sacral sacral chakra um uh, so bodes well and they're both golden in color 32s and 37 i feel those numbers are really important to you um both of them at once uh and if it resonates let me know for sure so there's definitely uh doors opening i still love that a fiery climax approaches that is amazing let's do one more this one woman holding a heart towards the end um you're holding the heart in your hands you're not interested in giving it away right now you're kind of looking off but you're doing your thing you're glancing out um but it's there eventually when you're ready you will hand it to someone who will uh you trust to hold it um uh, magician in the mirror but i feel like it it'll it'll almost be when you meet this person It'll almost be feeling as if uh, you're looking into a mirror. Not that they look like you, but you you recognize their essence and their soul as part of yours, and you'll be happy to give it away. You're not at that point yet, and you, I don't even think you should be. It's not it's literally not in the cards just yet, but definitely towards the end of the year for the fiery my, fiery climax approaching. Um, don't be scared. Work through your fears. You've got this. It's amazing. Remember, you started out the fool. You end up the king of pentacles. So that is your very abbreviated reading for 2022. I hope it resonated. If you, if you liked it, please leave a comment, a thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. No harm, no foul, man. I'll see you next time around. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I'm a little rusty. I apologize. Thank you so much for checking me out. If you would like to see more of this in the future, let me know. And uh, have a great rest of your year, guys. Bye. All right, group three, welcome to your reading. If you chose group three, you chose the Rose Quartz Freeform. Um, if you noticed, I did not place the card in which the order 
Oh, we did place them in the order which were drawn. Okay, yeah, so I didn't do that first of a couple ones, but I place them in which order I feel called to place. So starting out, the first card that we drew was the Four of Swords. That's, I'm getting very stagnant energy. Um, in previous readings, it was more of a rest, but this is stagnation. Three of Pentacles, you're, I wanna say tied. You're tied to focus solely on your work right now. Um, and that's all you're doing. You're literally sleeping and working. But towards the end of the year, um, more so towards the middle, things start to take flight. Um, new ideas are incoming. These are arrows. There's so much um, potential energy in arrows. Uh, when you pull back, all that energy is holding there. It's all potential. When you release them, then it becomes kinetic and it moves into action and heat. Um, and so... While you may be in a stagnating period right now, that won't always be the case. Let's see. Let's see what else. Can we tell group three? Oh. These two. Three of swords and six of wands. You may de be debating a situation, um, a romantic situation where there are... Uh, there's an extra person you were not anticipating, meaning um, someone that you may be looking at, maybe in a previous or in a current relationship that you weren't aware of, um, or they may be looking at you because you're the center of attention. So I feel they have, oh, they're looking at you. You're not looking at them. Okay, so there is someone that um, definitely just existing outside of your field of vision. They're currently partnered, but they're looking at you because you represent this triumph, this beauty, this grandeur, this amazing person. And they're looking at you from afar uh, and they don't see the depressed you, the focused you, the you that is kind of just going home and laying and like, what's the point? What am I working for? They see this beautiful, colorful, fully just amazing person, but they're kind of tied down there. And they, it's almost like a form of escapism. Let's clarify the wands, 10 of cups. So this is leading to um, greater uh, wish fulfillment and to a, oh, okay. So this is leading to a greater wish fulfillment in regards to relationship, but I don't think this person is the person that's going to end up. This is someone that is going to, hey, sorry, I have puppies in here. Um, this is someone that's going to have an impact on your, I think they're going to be the catalyst that spurs you forward into where you need to go. I don't think they're going to like that. Seven of cups. Yep. So it, it's almost as if they present they make you aware of the choices that you have um relationship speaking and not everything is going to be to your liking but it's going to spur you into that momentum you're like to look for other choices Ooh, two came out the fool and two of pentacles and it's it's yeah so it's definitely a choice um between uh, i don't honestly i don't even think that you register this person on your level um and you're, and this definitely coincides with um, forward momentum and a new journey. But whatever this person does that is attached to someone is going to wake you up and it's going to make you think of the potential that you have within yourself. And that's going to spur you on to start a new journey, um, relationship wise, uh, or take a new path. And that path is what's going to lead you to the wish fulfillment, the Ten of Cups the wheel of fortune um i don't read cards upside down um for the majority of it very rarely would i do which is why i flipped it when i pulled it um but the wheel of fortune uh, is turning it's in motion uh and it and i think while it may be good for you for this person they would need a separate reading on their own. If if this person resonates more with you, um, let me know and I can do a follow-up reading in regards to that. But this is not 
the majority of you who are watching, this is not your energy. Your energy is very, they're just the catalyst, the fire to the flame, the pullback of the arrow to set that forward, that for whatever reason is gonna motivate you to start down this other path. Um, so while the first part of the year may be full of stagnant energy and just focusing on work, um, the end of the year, like the Empress comes out, like she is amazing at the top of her fucking game. She wields power and um, just, I mean, it's the Empress, man. What more do you want? So she's got everything she needs in the palm of her hands and she's able to manipulate things the way she wants them to turn out. And that wheel motion is echoed in the circles that she has. Um, and that even reminds me of, if not, not a blunted sword, but it's very sword-like. So it's almost like she has changed and transmuted that stagnant, not forward motion energy into a circular motion where it's moving forward again. It's like she's manipulating the cosmos to uh, continue that forward motion instead of just stagnating um, and focusing on you know, work and, and just work. Um, there will have to be a choice to be made. There will, does have to be balance that needs to be found. Um, so that's definitely important as well. Excuse me, I'm making a mess. I'll have to fix those. Let's pull some Oracle cards. We are going to do the Moonology deck. Okay. Group three. You're very close to achieving your goal. Yeah. Adjustments are required. I'm not surprised. And surrender to the divine. Um, you're currently in this period stagnant energy. I feel that's something that's carried over from the last half of 2021. And I'm not surprised. We're still in the middle of a worldwide pandemic. People are exhausted. People are exhausted of... Um, staying at home, isolating. They're resentful of people who don't stay at home and who don't isolate. It's 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 been an, an adjustment for everyone. And I think 2022 will present its own challenges in regards to that. But I don't see us backsliding so much where um, it was at the beginning of, of 2020. Surrender to the divine. Um, for a lot of you, that spiritual, spiritual connection is very important to you. And I think it's it's possible that you've been neglecting that or not focusing on that as you should. I hear let go, let God. I know that's very, very Christian, very Catholic, but it's more of a put your trust in your higher power. Put your trust that things are going to work out the way that they need to be provided you're doing the work on yourself and finding that balance um, and making the adjustments to your life that help propel you forward and to keep that forward momentum um, once you launch yourself into the future. Conclusions are within reach. Um, if there's a problem that you feel that's been holding you back, I think it's going to resolve itself very, very soon. Uh, I think it's something that may not be big first and foremost, but it kind of eats away at you a little bit. And when you're laying in your bed at night after you've worked a full day and you're planning on your next full working day the following day, I think that kind of niggles your brain and it doesn't allow you to get the rest that you need Um to be fully present in the moment. But that is all changing. And again, that wheel is turning. It's There's forward motion that is gonna come. There still may be a period of stagnation for the first three months, um, but things are in motion. Let's do one more. A time for healing. I feel that this is emotional healing. This is mental healing. Um, it could even be physical healing, but I'm not picking up on that, which is weird. Um, it's more of a getting a proper rest and not just sleeping because uh, you get to pretend to be dead for a while. Okay, let's do attachment and door to personal healing and happiness. A time for healing. Look at that. Conclusions are in reach. There are definite attachment issues. Um, that are inhibiting you, whether it's 
a fear of being vulnerable or an attachment to someone who is not in your best interest or an attachment to a place um, that no longer serves or an attachment to memories that may have become rose colored um, as the years wear on. I know, baby, hold on. I'll wrap this up. Um, so there's definitely some uh, attachment issues that you have to work through um, that are holding you back, that aren't allowing you to progress. But it, this is this is the time. This is the time, man. This stagnation is coming. Adjustments are required. So the it, like, don't forget, like you've got this new journey and this Ten of Cups wish fulfillment. Just because you're stagnant now doesn't mean that that's how it's going to be for the rest of the year and there are people that are looking up to you that are totally out of your eyesight that you're not even registering um that will have an effect and just because someone shows interest or presents you with an offer does not mean you have to accept it um focus on yourself focus on your own personal healing um get back in touch with the things that bring you comfort and joy because I'm telling you, everything's going to be okay. Uh, thank you for checking out your very abbreviated reading. I'm sorry I have to cut it short, but I have a puppy who tells me he needs to go outside to go potty. So if you liked it, comment, let me know. Feedback fuels me and keeps me motivated. If it doesn't resonate, hit that little down thumb thing and maybe come back some other time, man. Welcome to 2022, guys. I hope it's a good one for you. I'll see you later. Bye.